News Center Maine's Don Kerrigan sat in on today's briefing and Don two more deaths brings the total to seven now and officials say the next two weeks are going to be even worse. Yeah, Cindy, these are tough days for a lot of people in Maine as we worry about what, what's happening to our families and our communities. And while, as you say, there were some hopeful signs about testing and about compliance with the social distancing order, uh, there was also the sad news of more cases and more deaths, which both continue to climb. The sixth such individual was a woman in her, in her 80s from Cumberland County. The seventh was also a woman in her 80s and also from Cumberland County. 344 total cases as of today. That's a 13.5% increase in just 24 hours. Exposure to the virus, says the CDC, was likely a number of days earlier, possibly before social distancing began to take hold. But Dr. Nerev Shah says it is happening, using data from more than five dozen Maine DOT traffic cameras that count vehicles, showing reductions from a year ago of 10 to 20 percent, and using other data from cell phone providers that show more people are staying closer to home. The magnitude of the reduction in travel has been the highest in Cumberland County. He says it's too soon to know if distancing is actually reducing the number of cases yet, since it can take as much as two weeks from exposure to show symptoms. But Dr. Shah says staying at home is their best weapon. Physical distancing is the best vaccine that we have. But they are getting a new weapon. The CDC is getting the newly developed testing system from Abbott Labs with some of the tests made in Maine. The new process promises to dramatically speed up testing to take minutes instead of hours. And says Dr. Shah, reducing the need to use those precious stores of protective equipment for healthcare workers. Because if a patient tests negative, healthcare providers can discontinue the use of much of the PPE and conserve that life saving vital resource for patients who test positive. Better for patients, too, because they will get test results much more quickly. The CDC is starting with enough Abbott Lab supplies for 2,400 tests. And to amplify on what Dr. Shah said, he says that the whole health care system will benefit because getting those tests more quickly will allow them to know who does and does not have the disease, so they'll use less of that protective equipment, gloves, masks, things like that, which has been in such short supply. The other thing is that they told us is that the, the actual machines that do the test are already familiar to many uh, hospitals and doctors here in Maine. They already use them to test for strep throat, for the flu, so that uh, th using the new test materials uh, won't require much of a learning curve. So making some progress, they hope those will be in use quite soon. Cindy, back to you. That is good news, Don, thank you. And nearly every one of his briefings, Dr. Nirav Shah says he cannot say anything that would identify people who have contracted or died from COVID-19, just their sex, age, and county in which they live.